What is up everyone, this is our reviews. In this video we're going to show you the top 10 iOS 8 jailbreak tweaks for 2015. The first tweak we're going to show you is called Search Lite. This tweak will allow you to have your favorite apps, also your recently used apps on your Spotlight search. If I launch the Spotlight search right here, you can see I have the favorites and also the recently used apps. And I can go ahead and easily launch any app directly from here. If we go to settings, then here we have activator methods. Here we can set an activator gesture, which you can use to launch this tweak. Lower here you have appearance. You can choose different styles for this tweak. And if we go back, then here we have include and do not include. Here you can choose what you want to have on your spotlight search. We have included the favorites and the recents. You can also go ahead and include applications list and enable any app you want to see on your spotlight search. If we go to favorites right here, we have an enable button, then we have header name. Here we can set a custom header name for the favorites and if you want to add an app to the favorites, you just hit the plus right here and enable any of these apps. If we go back, then here we have recents, here you have an enable button and you can choose a header name right here for the recent used apps. And here you can choose how many recent used apps you want to see on your spotlight search. You can choose 1, 3 or 5 and you will see that number of recently used apps on your spotlight search. You can download this tweak for $1.99 from the Big Boss repo. Next up is a tweak called Cobolia. This tweak will replace your recent contact on your app switcher with these very useful switches from where you can perform actions easily from your app switcher. As you can see right here we have a lot of switches and if we go to settings, go to Cobolia, here we have an enable button, then here we have switches. Here you have all the switches that you have enabled and lower here you have the disabled switches. If you want to add one to your app switcher you just drag it up here to the enabled section. If you want to disable one just drag it down here to the disabled section. And if we go back then here we have section label and also switch labels. If we enable these then they, they will have labels as you can see right here all the switches now have labels and you can easily know what they do. You can download Cabolia for free from the Big Boss repo. The next week we're gonna show you it's called Polus. This week will allow you to customize your control center toggles and also the quick launches. If we go to settings, go to Polus, here we have icon packs. If we go here, you have all the icon packs that came pre-installed with this tweak. And if you want to add more, you just go right here to extra apps. It will redirect you to Cydia and you can download more icon packs. Lower here we have configuration. Now here we have bottom shelf and top shelf. The bottom shelf are the quick launches and the top shelf are the toggles. If you want to customize one of them, you just open it up. Then here we have select icon. You can choose any icon you want. And if we go back, then here we have tap and tap and hold. You can choose what you want to do when you tap the airplane mode. You can choose to toggle airplane mode or use an activator action. You have the same here for tap and hold. And if we go back, then here you can customize the toggles of your control sender. Here you can choose how many toggles you want to see per page. You can choose from one up to six and lower here. Then you have open the first page, which means that it will open the control sender to the first page of toggles anytime you open the control sender. Then you have custom shape. Here you can use a custom shape for the toggles. You have square, circle or none. And if we go to the control sender, here you can see it looks way more different. Here you have pages of quick launches and the toggles right here look way more different. You can download Polos for 99 cents from the Big Boss repo. Next up is OXO 3. This is probably one of the best CD tweaks ever. What it does is that it will merge your control sender with your app switcher. As you can see right here we have the toggles right here, the music controls, the volume control, the brightness right here. And if I slide up like this, I will go to the quick launches. And let's go back to the settings of this tweak. You enable it right here, then lower here we have quick switcher. This will enable a quick switcher that allows you to swipe up from the bottom of your device like this and will send you to the app switcher 
where you can switch between the background running apps. You can also release right here and it will send you to your home screen. If we go right here back again, here we have hot corners. If you enable this, then it will allow you to swipe up from the corner like this to go to the home screen. And then here we have advanced options. If we go here, we have reachable display. If you enable this, then it will bring down. You can see right here the toggles. It will bring them down from the top right here to down right here. So you can easily reach them with one hand. If we go back to settings, then here we have minimal display. You can enable it right here. Then here you have always or just if no media is playing. Lower here you have open to the last app. This what it does is that it will center the app switcher to the last app that you have used. Lower here then you have slider actions. You can choose what you want to do with the slider. When you tap on it you can toggle the outer brightness. Set brightness to maximum or to minimum. And also for the volume control when you tap on it you can switch to bring your volume, set the volume to minimum or set it to maximum. You can download OXO 3 for $2.99 from the Big Boss repo. The next tweak we're gonna show you it's called Cam Ricks. This tweak will allow you to access your camera from anywhere on your device by simply using an activator gesture. Now if I double tap on the status bar you can see the circle right here. This is the camera of my phone. I can easily tap and take a picture, tap with two fingers to turn to the front camera or I can tap and hold to start recording a video. Here you can see this red circle will appear which indicates that now it's recording video. If I tap once again it will stop recording. It also works on apps and if you want to dismiss it you can just drag it down here to this X button. Now if we go to settings here we have an enable button then you have activation methods here you choose the activator gesture that you will use to launch this tweak. Lower here you have your default camera. You can choose which is your default camera. When you launch this tweak you can choose the rear or the front camera. And if we go back then we have flash mode. You can choose your flash mode. And lower here then we have media quality. Here you can choose the media quality, the quality of your videos and photos that you take with this tweak. And lower here you can choose how you want to dismiss it. You can choose to dismiss it by dragging down here as I did or by simply tapping the home button. Lower here then you have appearance. You can change the shape, the size and also the border color. Lower here then we have video settings. Here you can enable video, enable record video with audio and also here you have the torch mode. You can choose off, on or automatic. You can download Camrix for $1.99 from the Big Boss repo. Next up is Reach Weather. This tweak will make the reachability view of your iOS 8 device more useful by adding the weather of your city on your reachability view. Here you can see if I go to the reachability view we have four pages. The first one is the clock, then we have the weather, then we have here detailed weather and also the forecast for three days. If we go back to the settings of this tweak we have an enable button, then we have manual reachability control which means that you will have to dismiss manually the reachability view, it won't dismiss automatically. Lower here you can set custom colors for the title and for the details, just enable them right here and enter the hex code right here. Lower here you have UI options, you can enable clock page, detailed weather page, forecast and also here you have forecast type, you can choose for 3 days or for 5 days and if you go right here we have also celsius, you can enable or disable it. And then here you can choose the language for your device. Now you can download this tweak for free from the Big Boss repo. Next up is a tweak called Walmart. This tweak will allow you to have a different wallpaper on your device anytime you unlock it. You can see right here, if I lock and unlock my device, I will have a different wallpaper. And if we go to the settings of this tweak, here we have an enable button, then you have wallpaper mode. You can choose where you want to apply this tweak. You can choose to apply it on lock screen and home screen or just on lock screen or just on your home screen. And if we go back then we have shuffle right here and perspective zoom. You can also enable blur for your wallpapers. Just enable it right here and set the blur strength with the slider right here. If we go back then here you choose the album from which you want to take these wallpapers and change them anytime you unlock your device. You can also set 
the wallpapers to change on interval, just enable it right here and enter after how many seconds you want the wallpapers to change. Now if you go to your device, you can see it will change the wallpapers every 3 seconds. You can download Walmart for free from the Big Boss repo. The next tweak we're gonna show you it's called Easy Spring 2. This tweak will make it easier for you to respring your device, send it to the safe mode, reboot it or just shut it down. As you can see right here when we install this tweak you will get an icon on your springboard, you open it up and then here you have these buttons. You have a logo of this tweak right here, then you have a respring button, clean UI cache, reboot, safe mode and also shut down. And also you have a cancel button right here. And if we go to settings under Easy Spring 2, here we have some options you can configure. If we go to settings right here, then you have replace power down screen. If you enable this, then it will replace the power down menu. So when you tap the power button to shut down your device, you won't get the slide to power off, but you will get this tweak like this. And if we go again to the settings, here we have show icon on home screen. Here you can choose if you want to show an icon of this tweak on your home screen or not and lower here you have show icon on view which means that it will show this logo of this tweak inside this tweak. You can download Easy Spring for free from the Big Boss repo. The next tweak we're gonna show you it's called alternate controls. This tweak will add some Android style buttons to your iOS 8 device. As you can see right here if I swipe up from the right bottom corner of my device I will get these three buttons. I can tap on the square to go to the app switcher, tap on the circle to go to the home screen or I can tap and hold the triangle right here and it will show me my recent used apps. If we go to the settings of this tweak, we have an enable button, then here we have show touches, then we have use modern icons. If you disable this, then it will show these older style icons and lower here we have invert colors. If we disable this, then it will make the buttons black. Lower here you have swipe location and activator gesture. Here you can choose how you want to launch these buttons. And then you have options right here. You have dismiss on touch, which means that you can dismiss this tweak by simply touching anywhere on the screen. Lower here you have dismiss on button press, which means that you will have to dismiss it by pressing the home button. Then you have vibrate on touch and also toggle two apps, which means that it will toggle between your two last used apps by simply tapping on the triangle. You can download alternate controls for 99 cents from the Big Boss repo. And the last tweak for this video it's called Folder X. This tweak will make it easier for you to browse through all your folders by simply opening one of them and then all you have to do is just swipe here at the name of the folders and you can move between all the folders that you have on your iOS 8 device. As you can see right here it will also allow you to customize the background of your folders. Now to do that you will need to go to your settings, go to folder X, here we have an enable button, then we have configuration. You can enable animations right here, then you can enable pinch to close folders. You can also hide the page dots on the folder simply by enabling right here and also here you have close on launch. If you enable this then it will close the folder anytime that you open one of the apps on that folder the folder will be closed. Lower here you can colorize the folder by enabling it right here, go to folder color right here and choose any color you like. If we go back then here you can set the transparency of the folder's background and if you go back then here you have a respring button for all these changes to take effect. You can download this tweak for 99 cents from the Big Boss repo. So these are the top 10 city tweaks for 2015. Of course there will be more tweaks coming out this year so we will make other parts of this video and we'll show you all the cool tweaks that come out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also go ahead and follow us on Twitter. You can find the link to our Twitter account in the description of this video.